hello again everyone in this video tutorial we are going to solve this given cube equation by factoring and eventually we're going to check our answer as well so the very first thing i want you to look at the first pair over here look for the gcf between these two terms and obviously you can see 5x square is in common so factor that thing out once you factor that thing out we got in parentheses 3x minus 1 isn't it and now I want you to look at the second parentheses and see what is in common you can see positive 7 is in common so we got 3x minus 1 in parentheses equal to 0. Now you can see these two parentheses 3x minus 1 is in common. I want you to put it in the front. So 3x minus 1 in the front and then in parentheses 5x square plus 7 equal to zero so far so good now i'm going want you to split them up so 3x minus 1 equal to zero and 5x square plus 7 equal to zero i want you to move this negative one on this side so 3x equal to 1 divide both sides by 3 so x turns out to be 1 over 3 as one of our solutions now i want you to move this negative positive 7 on the other side that's going to become negative 7 isn't it now i want you to divide both sides by 5 so x square turns out to be negative 7 over 5. now what we're going to do is we want to you to remove this square so we're going to be taking the square root on both sides so far so good so now this square and square root there that undo each other and we got positive or negative and since we got a negative sign inside this radical so we have to be very careful as you can see this is an imaginary number I. so i can put i times outside i can split it up square root of seven over square root of five so far so good now the next step we are going to do is i want you to look at this part over here see at the bottom we have a at the denominator we have a radical so we must not have a radical at the denominator so now we're going to rationalize this fraction that I put it down over here by just simply whatever is at the denominator square root of 5 I want you to multiply and divide by the same number so on the top when you multiply this thing that's going to give you square root of 7 times square root of 5 and you multiply when these two at the bottom that's going to give you since these are the same number multiplying twice so that's going to give you simply 5 at the denominator so that is equal to when you multiply it out that's going to be square root of 35 over 5 so i'm going to put down this thing x equal to positive or negative i times square root of 35 over 5 so thus our solution set turns out to be a 1 over 3 from here and i times square root of 35 over 5 when you put a positive sign and then negative i square root of 35 over 5 when you have a negative sign and that is our answer and one more thing just keep in your mind since these two numbers have i with it they are imaginary numbers so they are not real our only real solution is going to be one over three that's the reason why i put down our real solution turns out to be one over three and finally we're going to check our answer 
as well. As you recall in our previous step, we figured out all these three solutions. Now, the very first step to check our answer is I want you to add these three solution up. That means I'm gonna write down one over three plus pi square root of 35 over five plus negative i square root of 35 over 5 and ask yourself is it equal to minus b over a where minus b over a is simply you can see a b c and these are these the coefficients of this given cubic polynomial so minus b is negative 5 over a is 15 so negative and negative become positive 5 over 15 equal to 1 over 3 so that means minus b over a turns out to be 1 over 3 and the question mark is by the way on the left hand side these two cancel out we got 1 over 3 on the left hand side as well now ask yourself is this statement true yes this statement is true thus our answer is checked thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos